After silver was discovered nearby in 1877, Tombstone quickly grew into one of the richest mining towns in the Southwest. Wyatt Earp, a former Kansas police officer working as a bank security guard, and his brothers Morgan and Virgil, the town marshal, represented law and order in Tombstone, though they also had reputations as being power-hungry and ruthless. On the morning of October 25th, Ike Clanton and Tom McLurry came into Tombstone for supplies. Over the next 24 hours, the two men had several violent run-ins with the Earps and their friend Doc Holliday. On October 26, 1881, a feud that had developed between the Earp brothers and a gang led by Ike Clanton turned into the most celebrated gunfight in Western history. The gunfight at the OK Corral was a 30-second shootout between Billy Claiborne, Ike and Billy Clanton, Tom and Frank McLaurie, Virgil Earp, Morgan Earp, Wyatt Earp, and Doc Holliday. The question of which side actually drew their guns first is still debated today, but it is believed that Virgil Earp pulled out his revolver and shot Billy Clanton in the chest at point black range, while Doc Holliday killed Tom McLurry with a blast from his double-barreled shotgun. When the 30-second gunfight was over, there was no doubt which side had triumphed. The Earps were blooded but alive, while Billy Clanton and Tom and Frank McLurry were dead or dying. Sheriff Behan, who witnessed the entire shootout, charged the Earps and Holiday with murder. However, a month later, the Tombstone Justice of Peace found the men not guilty, ruling the defendants were fully justified in committing these homicides. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.